Hey guys, I Heart Movies here, and welcome back to Pokemon Crystal. In the last episode, we defeated Bruno, the Fighting Master of the Elite Four, the third member. And today, we're going to be fighting this lady, who is the fourth member, and we'll find out her name shortly. What I want to do first, I do want to do a little bit of healing from the uh, last battle. Mostly, I just want to uh, bump up Psychic for its uh, PP. And that's really all I want to do to, to do there. Now, I'm trying to remember what this lady's first Pokemon is. I seriously cannot remember for the life of me. Um, uh, God, I, I'm, tr I'm trying to think just for a second what the first Pokemon is. Cause yeah, I, I obviously want to start with good type advantages, but I just don't remember what the hell it is. Um, well, I'm, I'm going to put Muscle out front, because actually I think I have an idea. I want to say the first Pokemon is actually an Umbreon, I believe. And this is Karen of the Elite Four. Nice to meet you. How, how is that amusing? Oh, she loves Dark-type Pokemon. Yeah, we haven't really... We haven't fought any, any Dark-type Pokemon at all, really. So... Yeah, this pretty much might be the first time for some... If you're new to the game, it might be the first time really fighting them. But really, the only thing about Dark-type Pokemon... I mean, there's obviously... There's so many dual types, but if you're fighting a pure Dark-type Pokemon, the only thing that we need is fighting types. Sent out Umbreon. Okay, I was right. It's good. Yeah, Umbreon is actually a physical, a good physical wall, I believe, but too bad I can't attack with the crap anyway. But yeah, I want to do, I want to do with Cross Chop first. And yeah, hopefully this should kill it in one hit. A critical hit would be even better because Cross Chop has a nice critical hit rate, I believe. Super effective! Ah, one hit KO. <coughs> Excuse me. Not to use Vile Plume. Okay, Muscle, you're a bad matchup for this. Now, I want to go with uh, Blaze for this one. Now, I don't know why she has a Vile Plume. It's not Dart. It's not Dart type at all. Yeah, Vile Plume is the final evolution of the. Oh yeah, the uh, Oddish Gloom and Vile Plume uh, evolution series. Nothing really too hard here. It can be really, really annoying. This has a tactical Petal Dance, which deals damage and confuses, I believe. So yeah, you don't want to be hit with that. Yeah, Fire Wheel almost a one hit KO. And oh no, Petal Dance. Well, it shouldn't deal that much damage as I believe it's a Grass Elemental Attack, I think. You're not very effective... Oh, didn't, didn't even confuse. Yay. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure I can't confuse with the... Uh, I think it's somewhat low percentage, but... Eh, no big deal. Alright, that was pretty easy. Let's see, who's up next? We have Gengar! Yeah, we fought this before, back, in, back with Morty. Um, yeah, we'll deal with Alakazam. I could leave, I could leave Blaze in there, because he does have dead, but I probably wouldn't be a one-hit killer, to be honest, so. Let's see, a Psychic should be a one-hit kill on Gengar. Mm, excuse me. Yeah, Gengar, as I'm sure you know, yeah, the final evolution to a uh, Ghastly and Haunts her, it's a uh, Ghost Poison, which is uber weakened and Psychic, so. One-hit KO there, awesome. And still no Dark-type Pokemon. Okay, Murkrow, that'll work. Yeah, Murkrow is Dark Flying, so you actually... It's actually... The type advantage actually works kind of well against like, for it, because... I mean, the Flying kind of outweighs the other Dark moves that would work, that work, uh, that would work against it. So, yeah, normally Dark-types are weakened in fighting, but since it's, it's part Flying, it won't work. So we want to attack the Flying weakness of it, so we want to go with Thunder. Well, Ice would work too, since it is Flying also, so... Yeah, and for us, find us a little bit of showtime for a Thunder Punch. One hit KO. Nice. Only a thousand experience points. Well, it, it doesn't evolve. Not in this generation, anyway. Not until, I think, Diamond and Pearl, I think it is. The last Pokemon, Houndoom. Who do I want to use here? Do I want to know? Yeah, I want to go with Muscle for this one. Yeah, Houndoom is a uh, Dark Fire, like, like we fought before back in uh, the Radio Tower. The one executive for Team Rocket had one. Yeah, Houndoom is a very, very good Pokemon. Actually, you might, might not be surprised, um... I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if I add one to my team for the next part of the game later on. So, yeah, we haven't been able to catch a Hound Tower yet. That's the first evolution of it. But, yeah, later on, we will be able to, so... I more than likely will add him to my team, because Houndoom is damn good. Ah, one-hit kill. Nice. And a critical hit, too. I have a text. Who from? And, ha-ha! We win! Okay, well, that, that takes care of the Elite Four, so we win, right? There's only four people. 
Oh, I've realized Mudsides has the amulet point. Yay. And she's she's right about that, yeah. I, I definitely agree with that. Oh, we still have to fight the champion. Well, let's go walk down this awesomely designed hallway. And we're going to stop right about here, guys. So next time on Pokemon Crystal, we will be fighting the champion. Does he look familiar? I think he does. We'll be doing that next time, but have to wait until next week before we take care of that. This has been Iron Movie Sign Off, guys. Have a nice day, and thanks for watching.